Today I'm introducing DIA2, one of the most advanced open source TTS and dialogue generation models released this year. This tool can generate incredibly natural speech with emotions, pauses, and even multiple speakers, all from simple text. Whether you want to create voiceovers, characters, narrations, or full AI dialogues, DIA2 delivers studio quality audio with almost zero latency. In this video, I'll show you how it works, how to install it, and how to generate ultra-realistic voices for your projects. If you are new to my YouTube channel, subscribe it dot and press bell icon to stay updated. Well, let's see how you can install Dita 2 tts on your computer. Oh. Or Click the GitHub link in my description to access the main page of DIA2 TTS. To install this project locally, make sure your system meets the following requirements. At least a 6GB VRAM graphics card. A minimum of 32GB system RAM. Python 3.10.11. CUDA Toolkit 11.8-12.8. FFmpeg. Visual Studio Build Tools. Git for Windows. If you need help installing these dependencies, you can follow along with my playlist where I walk you through everything step by step. To install the repository, simply click the code button on GitHub and copy the provided Git clone link. Go to folder or drive you want to install this in and type cmd in folder path a new command window will open. Type git clone and paste code you copied to clone this. After cloned with cd command go inside clone folder. Now create Venv using Python 3.10. Activate Venv with activation code. After activated go to main page of PyTorch and copy code for your CUDA version. Make sure you install compatible PyTorch version to your CUDA. Since mine is 11.8 I will install 11.8. If it's not in list copy any PyTorch code. Paste in command window and change version in the end and add torch audio after torch then install it. After PyTorch installed go to main page and click on spaces option. On hugging face space click on files option and requirements file. Copy these requirements and on main folder create a new text file and name it requirements. Open requirements file and paste requirements. Remove torch from list and add spaces and save this file.
now run requirements code to install requirements. After requirements installed run main code. When you see local URL copy and paste this in any web browser to launch dia 2 tts To use this again easily make a bat file of this. Go to main folder and create new text file. Open text file and type this code as you see and save as run.bat. Now you can easily launch this by double clicking this file. To use this type text in S1 and S2 both represent two different peoples. You can add more peoples or remove them. Add audio file you want to sound like for first person and second person. Adjust speed and the other settings you want and click Generate. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you like it. If you got any question or request, comment. Onion, forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take care.